okay, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to review, but also as an opportunity to learn EIGERP and do some basic EIGERP configuring. So what we've got here are three routers. They have not been wired up yet, but we're going to wire them up. This is router R0, R1, and R3. Then we have switches, S0, S1, and S2. And by the way, if you want to uh, download this packet tracer file and follow along, you, you'll be able to download it at danscourses.com, and I'll put a link below. Okay, um, so we've got the three switches and the three routers, and then we're going to um, use this as a refresher on subnetting. So what we're going to do is, in between these routers, we will have um, four host networks, okay, small subnets in between these routers. And then out here, let's start from network one. This network out here will be designed as a subnet for 128 hosts. Network two, this will be a subnet for 64 hosts. And network three, a subnet for 32 hosts out here, right? And then in between the routers, like I said, we've got network four, five, and six, four hosts each. So we're going to need six subnets. So you can see here I've put the starting address, 192.168.5.0 slash 24. This is our starting point, right? And now we're going to create six subnets out of it. So that's the first thing we're doing is, is create these subnets, all right? Well, when you're networking, the first subnet is going to be 192.168.5.0. Dot zero, all right? And right now, if it's slash 24, it's 256 hosts. But we need, let's say, 128 hosts. And let me change that to 126 hosts usable, right? 126 usable hosts. So I'm going to change the subnet mask from slash 24 to slash 25, all right? And that will give me a network from zero to 127, all right, slash 25. All right, starting at 5.0, going all the way to 5.127, and that'll give us the 126, let's say, hosts. 128 total hosts, 126 usable, because dot zero is the network, and dot 127 is the broadcast. All right, so the next network will start at 128 and we need it for let's say we'll call this 62 hosts right and so this will go from 128 what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it a slash 26 right and a slash 26 gives us 64 hosts so um, 62 usable so that'll go from 128 to dot 191 and 128 the number 128 we can't use that because that's the network number and we can't use dot 191 because that's the broadcast number but that'll be a slash 26 and now for the third network 192.168.5.192 right we need 32 hosts or I'm going to change that here to 30 hosts, okay, and that's going to be a slash 27 subnet. Why? Slash 27, right, the last bit borrowed, the last one going from left to right is in the 32's place. So this will go from 192 to dot 223, all right. And so that will be our slash 27, right? And that'll give us 32 hosts. Now we start with our small subnets, 192.168.5.224. And I'm going to highlight this, copy, paste, paste. And this will be the 224 network. This one will be the 228 network. And this one will be the 232 network. These will all be slash 30 
which will give us four hosts. Okay. Slash 30, slash 30. And I'm going to change these from two hosts to four hosts to two hosts to reflect two usable connections. Two usable connections. Okay. Two hosts, point to point links. All right. So that'll give us the required two hosts each. 224. Why? Slash 30. The magic number on slash 30 is 4. Magic number on slash 27 is 32. The magic number on slash 26 is 64. And the magic number on slash 25 is 128. So this is the network of 128 hosts, 64 hosts, 32 hosts, 4 hosts, 4 hosts, and 4 hosts. So there's our number scheme. So now that we have our addressing scheme down for our networks, let's hook these up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to um, Options, Preferences, and I'm going to say Show Port Labels. Okay, they're on, so that's good. So we'll be able to see those. All right, so I'm going to say Connections. I'm going to get the, um, the DTE connection here for Serial Connection, and I'm going to connect it to Serial 2. And then I'll take it over here to Serial 3. And so now the clock is over here at serial 3, and the um, DTE is over here at serial 2, DT and DCE over here. So serial 2 to serial 3, and serial 3 is the DCE, and serial 2 is the DTE. And I'll follow that same pattern as I go around. So I'll go here, serial 2 to serial 3, and then uh, get this and say serial 2 to serial 3. And I can see here that where I have the clock showing is where I'm going to have to configure a clock rate on my serial interfaces. And we can hook up now from the Ethernet ports to these switches. So uh, router to switch is a straight through cable. So I'll go here and grab a straight through cable. And I'll go from the router's fast Ethernet 0 to the first Ethernet port on the switch and I'll do that again on all of these. Later what we'll do is we'll add hosts later on that will um, we'll add PCs later on once we have this configured. Okay now it's time to configure these interfaces on the routers with the correct and proper IP addresses. I'll start with the Ethernet interfaces on the routers and I'm going to use the first available host address as the router's um, IP address on that interface. So we'll start up here with network 1, 126 hosts. It's our first network, network 1. And so the router on this Ethernet interface will be 5.1 with a slash 25 subnet mask. So I'll open up the router and I'll go to command line interface hit return to get started enable configure terminal interface fast ethernet FA 0 slash 0 IP address 192.168.5.1 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.128 hit enter and no shutdown alright and now if we look we see the green light go on and so we have our first interface configured so this one right here is on the router is 5.1 right here on this Ethernet interface. Okay. 